Here's a portrait of a community, a town in south central Minnesota called Winthrop. It's about the people who live there, what's important to them, and what they believe. It's about how their lives differ from ours, and yet how they're very much alike. A story of a town makes that town the people. daughter and son-in-law on the family farm. Daring has been my bag all my life. I'm 52 years old. I have been involved with farming, particularly daring, uh, the last uh, 30 odd years. But I have two daughters that have always uh, enjoyed farming. And so one of them had to marry a dairy farmer. And the other one, uh, uh, that uh, did not marry dairy farmer, but uh, they are the ones that have come home, chose to come home and try to farm uh, with me. In farming, either marry or in inherit it, and I think it's getting more and more uh, true every day. Although uh, I do think that the number one thing is the initiative, the desire to want to, to, uh, to become a farmer is number one. And after that, if you there's a strong will that you want to get ahead, uh, I'm not going to say you can't become a, a, a farmer. I'm my own boss out here on the farm. But I pay dearly for it because I must work seven days a week. I must work holidays, early in the morning, late at night. But we have to enjoy what we're doing. Nobody says you have to be a farmer. While farming is the major source of employment around Winthrop, this company, Hands Incorporated, employs the most workers in town. Finished manufactured goods are packaged here, everything from record albums to soldering helmets. But there's something different about this company. The people who work here. strong influence here. Seven churches thrive in town. Seven churches and only 1,400 people. so 
people. They love God and they love the fellowship and worship. Uh, uh, all I know is that they really do take God and his church seriously and they don't uh, they don't think you have to have 5,000 people in a church to make a church. Reverend Bernard McLean and his wife Kathy. Reverend McLean is the pastor at Faith United Church. The true church helps one another and loves one another because every year our church has grown in their giving uh, to feed the hungry and, and to help them help themselves. Uh, and so I, I, I'm very proud of our congregation here. The they, people are they, basically, um, um, they need, they know they need help and they're willing to help other people. And it's being, they're loving and kind. And I think again, it just comes to not being afraid of what the next day is going to bring because they have trust in God. I think here that uh, the family um, stand is more strong and I think they tend to listen more. And yet I can't say that either, because I'm sure there are people, for instance, in Minneapolis who have the same strong ideals and feelings about what their children should and should not do. Uh, the attitudes of young people, you know, are here are probably much like the attitudes of the young people in Minneapolis about some of the new ideas they have. But while ideas and attitudes of the city have found their way to this town, other characteristics of the city have not. What's your name? Elvin Harbart. How long have you been working here at Hands? Oh, about uh, five months. Five months? Yeah. How do you like it? Pretty good. What yeah. were you doing before that? I was uh, working at the manufacturing company at Lester Prairie. Where? At Lester Prairie, the manufacturing company. Oh, I see. Yeah. And how long, did, how long did you work there? Oh, here? Yeah, um, at the other place? Eight years. Oh, eight years? Yeah, eight years. How, how old are you? I'm 62. 62? Yeah. How do you like this job here? Good. Yeah. Uh, how do you like your workers there? <laughs> good, they're good, good guys. <laughs> how many hours a day do you work? Here? Eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah, most of the time. Sometimes it'll, but my average hours eight hours most of the time. 